Then I came up with the genius idea. I tried to do a DIY window seat in this alcove. He is not sure about this window seat, guys, because to be fair, we're not really sure if it's gonna work. Karis has been sitting this for about the last 10 minutes. She's been sitting like this. What's happening, Karis? Doesn't fit, does it? So this is a quick intro before the video starts. We wanted to let you know that we are joining in with the YouTubers for NHS Heroes mm -hmm. charity AdSense donation thing. So this video, um, all of the AdSense that's made from this video will be no donated to the NHS COVID-19 charity. Um, so please make sure that you watch the ads all the way through because that's the way that we'll be able mm -hmm. to make the most amount of money. And um, yeah, there'll probably be an ad at the beginning, at the end, in the middle. Yes. Um, and all the money that's donated will be going to that charity. So um, we just wanted to let you know. And please make sure you like the video and leave yes. a comment because that will boost our video. And we'll get us more views. Recommend. And then we can donate all the money to the charity. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, thank you and enjoy the video. Hello, Hello guys. guys. And welcome back to our channel. Okay, this is the most exciting DIY project we've ever it's done, really according not. to me. It's the least exciting DIY project <laughs> we've ever done. Stop it! <laughs> honestly, I'm so so excited for it. I'm gonna try and not ramble too much. No, no, no please honestly, ramble. The I longer feel... you ramble, the longer it takes to actually get started. I know. So I need... you just keep rambling. Well, I need to get started because of the fact that I'm not even sure if this is gonna work. So we have measured a space for a window seat in this bedroom. So let me just give you a little bit of a... Let me move my hairbrush. Okay, so this is our current bedroom in the new house. Well, it's not really new anymore. We've been living here like three months. This is the bedroom that's that we've done. New. Huh? That's still new. I'd say that's pretty new. Um, we've done it up. Obviously, it's not finished. So we were going to do like another vlog sort of completing this room. But then I came up with the genius idea of trying to do... <laughs> genius! I tried to do a DIY window seat in this alcove. I absolutely... I was sitting there on the sofa and suddenly steam started coming out of her ears, you know? Yeah. She was thinking hard, she was getting wrinkles in her forehead, and then <laughs> the idea popped. Okay, so you, on, you're just going to have to ignore James. He is not sure about this window seat, guys, because to be fair, we're not really sure if it's going to work. So the distance... I just thought this is like a perfect little window to have a window seat in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's so lovely, and the thing we love about this room is you can keep the windows wide open all day. It's so spacious. Exactly, Bill. I actually envisioned myself up against the side, looking out upon the beautiful world and reading. Exactly. Be careful of my pan pass now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I envisioned myself looking like on my window seat. Uh, to be honest. Okay, so this measurement here is 160 centimeters. So I started thinking, oh, okay. Let's give the dimensions of our entire bedroom to everyone. Okay, so they're 160 centimeters. I <laughs> oh, don't even know what he's on about. Um, and I thought, okay, I need to get a unit or a bench or something. All benches are too low. And so I was thinking, I want to reuse something in the house that we don't, mm -hmm. that we want in here. And what do we want in here? More storage for clothes. Because the mm -hmm. only thing we've got is this little cupboard, which. Kaz hides with her mirror. But it's I hide. Room. I'm not yeah. even going to show you in there. It's so messy. I'm going to organize that in another vlog. But anyway, so I basically realized that one of the sort of draw things. See, I'm. You've got this, babe. You've got it. I know. I'm really excited, but you can do it. I'm really struggling to like string my words <laughs> together because I'm so excited about this. And I'm really nervous that it's not going to work, but I'm just getting really overwhelmed and excited. So none of my words are coming out right. So this is the sort of draw thing that is exactly 160 centimeters. Now, I if. I think this can take our weight. It can. It's, it's super sturdy, James. Feel it, isn't it? It's the most, yeah. yeah, it is. It's the most sturdy IKEA thing we've ever bought. Like they're so, so sturdy. And I'm just gonna like put knobs in it and just make it look really cute. And then I've bought like a foam thing. Anyway, I'll show you in a minute. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just try and, fit it in the room. and see if that fits in the room. Because if that doesn't happen, it's then not video ain't happening. I'm gonna see you next time, guys. I'm gonna Thank you for distraught. watching. I'm gonna be very distraught. So we're gonna try and put this in now. Karis has been sitting this for about the last 10 minutes. She's been sitting like this. What's happening, Karis? Doesn't fit, does it? No. It's like I'm teasing you. That's a really bad tone of voice. I didn't really like that. This is a bit gutting, guys. Um, doesn't quite fit. Doesn't quite fit. We've been playing around with it. 
and we know that an option is taking the skirting off on that part of the room so that it will fit. It's probably a couple of centimetres in it, but it doesn't look good right now. This is a bit of a bummer start to the vlog. And we were thinking about putting it up against this wall, but it's too long. It will come out too far. Do some yoga to relax. Oh my god, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's failing. Forget it! Karis is now turning into a 12 year old because she's upset with the whole situation. <laughs> I think this is over now, um, and we're just going to have to call defeat on this. Bye bye! It's really sad, isn't it? <gasps> <laughs> right, so we're going to take this back into the other bedroom and try not to scratch the walls along the way. That's not going to happen. Yeah, we've probably made massive marks now awesome. where this has been. And we've like broken two of the wooden pieces, because we were there trying to push it <sighs> in with our knee, like, in you go, they were like, oh, they snapped. But to make me happy, we're going to bring up my DIY piece that I did before that was originally yes. meant to go in this window. That, to be fair, wouldn't have been able to go in this window no. had we done this window seat, so. And I think this is going to look far prettier. But also, we said in the future, if we are desperate to have a window seat, we can still use this kind of um, drawer set, and we just have to get someone in to take the skirt off. I just don't trust us to take the skirtings off. Yeah, I know. And for it to still look decent. No, it wouldn't. No. Yay! We got the DIY piece Ooh, in place. Slightly. So this was originally like a brownie. Oh, I think I can show you in here. This colour all over from a charity shop. And I just redid the handles, painted it, sanded it to like a rustic vibe. We asked you guys to let us know which handles you, th you thought. We yeah. A black IKEA one and a brass pulley one side by side. And you guys went for more for the black IKEA one. What yeah. What we actually ended up doing was getting ones which had like a bit of brass in them, mm. so they look slightly older. And we think it works really well. Kara's did it all. I have. I said yes to the <laughs> handles after she found them. Oh, there we go. There's a better view of them. Yeah, I love them, and I love it. To it be fair. really good then. We, we like it up against that wall because you can see it when you walk into the room. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's really nice then. And it goes. Put your side table back in. Nicely with the curtains and everything. That's really smart. Love it. It looks so small though. It does look small. I don't know, it looked quite big downstairs. I know. <laughs> yeah, it looks tiny. I was like, what's happened? <laughs> okay, so it is a sunny day today. It's beautiful, guys. The sun's, I think we got sunburnt yesterday. Yeah, it's in the garden. I know. Mm -hmm. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so funny. I literally never get sunburned because I can't stay in the sun for like two seconds because mm -hmm. I just get See, so like, hot. I love the sun. Oh, I'm a bit hot. And I know. I'm going in the shade. I'm going in the shade, James. <laughs> <laughs> So sunny. It's honestly so motivating when the sun is out. I just love it. So I'm out of my strop. I'm over the window seat. Yeah. Just. just you wipe the tears away, babe. Almost. Well, dry your eyes, mate. mate. I know it's hard that you can't have a window seat that you only wanted for like 24 hours, <laughs> but you've got to walk away now. Yeah. Whoa. Good try. Um, okay, so what are you going to do now? Because I'm going to... Um, the chicken's almost done, and I'm going to cut it up and put it in my, in my in some bread and have a Lunch. sandwich. James That's is just preparing. Well, no, I've just got some admin things to do. I'm going to do on the laptop. He's been working. What a work workaholic yeah, over here. don't stop. He just don't stop. Um, okay, so James is going to do some worky bits, and I'm going to do this. The new marble... This is what I should have had earlier. <laughs> yes. Stop crying over the window seat. Stop it. Stop oh. it. <laughs> the new Marvel um, sticky stuff has come and I'm going to do the tiles in the downstairs toilet mm. that you guys may have seen if we, if you watched the um, transformation, this, the half of the transformation of this toilet where we painted and we did that surface and all of that. And I wanted to, the marble stuff that I showed you in that vlog, which I'm obsessed with, I wanted to put on this. And these that's two. Really tough to put on there. Oh, I know, Bill. I have to try and really cut it around those points. Oh, I know. That's why I've got my Stanley knife. I'm gonna back you there. Stanley helping me along the way. But I needed to order a longer one so it was the right width because the other one was only 30 and it didn't come out long enough. And I was just. Oh, the marble just doesn't overlay very well. So I'm gonna give that a go now. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I know you've got all your fingers and toes crossed for me, Bill. Okay, so I've been slaving away at the marble bathroom stuff. Mila's looking at me <laughs> from the window. Oh my goodness me, it's such a sunny day. It's so... Wow, James has got a sleeveless top on. Hello, baby girl. Oh, I see. Getting... Well, yeah. You've got to protect the tan lines, haven't you? <laughs> James has been chilling in the garden reading. Can I come and see my... chilling doing your... Work? <laughs> yeah. What have you done? I'm a bit scared because I don't really know. 
if you're gonna like it. But oh, I love it. I love it. Like it couldn't have turned out better. But I don't know if you'll like it, and also I just don't know. I really want. Have you started so this been... whole thing? Have you have you chatted? Do you start this no. whole thing? Just doing the small towel behind the sink and the small towel by the top. Oh, we did say that. Um, what have you done? So I've done the small tile and then I did the two by the toilet and then I was like, ah, this just looks so good. So I decided to do the floor, but I didn't know if I'd have enough. So I did like a, a um, what's yep. it called? Like when you miss one like out. Diagonals. And I actually love how it looks. Now I've only done a couple. Okay. I've done like half, I've done the toilet bit. Because if you don't like it, then we can rip it out. Okay. But I love it. Okay. Can I just say? Okay. I'm a bit, I'm a bit anxious. But also, I feel like the tiling yeah. needs new, like, grouting thing in the middle. And I feel like once you, if you add that, which you can buy, like which... A whiter colour. Yeah, so, like, I tried to add a bit of polyfiller on one of them. I'll show you. But you can get special tile stuff. Right. That you put, because our grouting's gone, basically. Like, in between the tiles, there's quite big, big grouting, and it's gone. And then that it's would gone. look really good. Yeah. It's gone dirty, is it? No, it's just got, it's just like fades away over oh, okay. time. Okay, ready? I don't know that your sandwich is still there. <laughs> oh. Don't, how realistic do they look though? I think it's actually really quite smart. Look how realistic that is. Okay, I know some of the paints actually come off so it kind of looks like, but it is honestly the easiest thing to work with. It's so seamless. That looks amazing. Yeah, it does. This looks it? absolutely incredible. And then down here was a little wow, bit trickier. that looks really good It looks well. so good, doesn't it? Oh, That's because it's a cool, a little tile. I've done that so amazingly. Thank you. That's so good. And these look really good. I actually yeah. quite like Oh, them. this is my only mistake. Yeah, I, I could re redo that. that. That one. But that was where I put polyfiller in, which actually looks smarter, but it's not actually. I think it's fine with the dirty filler. Writing. I know, it kind of works. Like, if you look at it for too long. It's not even dirty, they would have just chosen a grey filler. Right. That's all. Yeah. I like it. Looks it looks though. good, doesn't it? It doesn't look as good as it does on here. No. Because you're never going to get it absolutely spot on. Like, there's always a bit of overlap no. and stuff. But it looks really good. No, does it look good enough to keep? I, I don't no. I think so, but as long as it stays down when you walk on it. But like, I just think that you're gonna find it really difficult to get all the tiles perfect. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it looks good though. It does look good from a distance, definitely. It looks, oh, thanks from a distance. <laughs> Wait. It looks great. It looks really good, Karen. <laughs> Rude. Oh, but it so changes the, the vibe of the room. I love it. It's a bit like vintagey and marble. It does look really good. I know. I'm really impressed, Karen. Oh, it looks thank really you. good. I'm gonna keep them. You're gonna keep them. <laughs> I'll keep Maybe them. Just have it in the toilet. I just have those five. It's like um, a dice. Yeah, you could do. <laughs> no. Or you could add the sixth here. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. You could add the sixth one, and then it would finish off the toilet area, and then maybe like a separate area. Yeah, it would separate the area. Nice. I love how they feel though. Yeah, they're, they're really like matte, soft. matte and soft. Very soft. Just slippy. They're not slippy at all. <laughs> Okay, cool. I don't know what else to do okay, with myself cool, now. Cool. cool. We're Nailed it. We're going to dog out and we're going to do a garden workout. Oh, we're going to do a garden workout. Woo! I mean, woo! We're going to do a garden yes, workout. Yes, that is it, girl. I feel like I am... Um, when I'm, like, down because of everything going on, I, like, take it out on my DIY. So that's why I tend to get quite obsessed with my DIYs. Yes, it keeps you so like, busy, doesn't it? So yeah. It keeps you happy and busy. And I actually feel like I can get a bit manic about it. But James puts up with me. Very well. I my parents are always keep, like, how does, going along with it. how does he put up with me? Because I'm literally like, oh my god, I'm going to paint the whole house green. Right, okay, I'm going to retile everything. Right, I've got some stickers off Amazon. Um, I'm just going to put them all over the house. So it's like a casual conversation. <laughs> so this is like before this even. We'd have a casual conversation about, you know, oh, I'm thinking of doing this. And I'd be like, yeah, that could work. I'm not too sure that could work. And then the next day we'd have like a delivery for all the stuff that Karis would need to follow that project through, honestly. <laughs> it's really It's sad. like the window seat upstairs. I know, don't oh, go the there. The seat. And literally the next day we had foam bloody thing up in the house. <laughs> I never even got to use my foam filling from Amazon. Yeah, so I'm basically a little bit manic, if you have noticed. A little bit. It's part of my personality. I've, I'm very obsessed with things. I get really obsessed with things. And especially if I'm feeling like overall down or not like happy or like if something stressful is going on in life so like obviously at the moment it's super stressful uncertain time <laughs> mila helps a lot but i also do get obsessed with things and like i am obviously currently obsessed with diy and i just go a bit manic and i like can't take no for an answer and if it fails i'm like because <laughs> i'm kind of like what's the word i'm thinking of you guys probably 
no one can get off there. Yeah, like, look at me. It's that I kind of weird, I know. What are you doing? What are you doing? I got your body, got your body, got your body. Oh, got your body. Got your body, I got your body, I got your body, I got your body. Do you want to show everyone how you make your ice lattes? I'm not doing lattes, I'm doing Americanos, babe. Oh, are you? Iced Americanos? Oh, yeah. <gasps> so yes, the weather has been getting really so hot. Really just... nice. Over 20 degrees Celsius, guys. Over 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, don't laugh at us. If you're from the US in one of those hot climates, or Australia in one of those hot climates, okay? Okay, this is hot, right? Hot. This is our summer kicking ice sunburn. This is summer. You did! Honestly, this is our summer, like peak. 20 degrees is like schools. We need to cancel school. I remember in school, if it hit 20 degrees, yeah. I was like, <laughs> In school, you'd be there in polo t shirts at lunch, rolling up your sleeves, playing football, <laughs> football, soccer on the field. Soccer. <laughs> Nope, really bad American accent. So we've started being really dramatic and making iced lattes as if we can't even drink normal coffee because it's so hot in the UK. And James makes a really good iced latte, so here we go. Still still just Americano. What's the difference between Americano and latte? There's considerably more milk in a latte, that's the key. It's just oh. a milk and coffee. Cool. So you start with ice. Wow. Mm. Oh yes, that is my latte. I know, I've actually gone mad today. I'm just so happy about your tiles, it's so cute. I oh, know. I was really yeah. upset about my window seat and see how happy I get. It's yeah, like worrying really. It's like it's like you're drunk. So you're now yeah, on a no, high, it is. And now tomorrow you won't get this high because we probably won't do anything like this and you'll want to suddenly try I to. I know. Pick it. Does anyone know about any coping mechanisms on a genuine serious note? Because this <laughs> is how extreme my mood swings get. Mm -hmm. When I'm like just do a little bit of DIY or craft. I'm like, <laughs> and then I wake up with no craft to do, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to read a book. <laughs> that is kind of like what it is. I don't want to read a book. Yeah. But anyway, I have James's ice lattes to get me through the day, um, and they are and so good. Christian and Ella are trying to play tennis in the back garden, and me and this all So, day. anyone that doesn't know, why did they think this was a good idea? <laughs> my sister and her fiance are staying with us at the moment because long story short, my parents had coronavirus, they came back from uni and they came to live with us instead of living with my parents. Now my parents are GPs working as doctors and they're gonna be high risk of carrying the virus on them. So these, <laughs> she's trying to get Mila to leave the ball. <laughs> That's not gonna go well. <laughs> she's so in bed. <laughs> right, we need to leave the tennis ball. There we go. Hey. hey. Quickly guys, get it. Okay, Mila, you can have your own ball. That one's yours. She's gonna want their ball last Yep, she will. As I soon as mow the lawn. as soon as you Yes, you need to mow the lawn later. When should I do okay. today? I'm gonna get She doesn't know which one she wants tonight, she's gonna make confused. Oh my <laughs> the ball's gone on the roof already. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's in the neighbour's garden. Whilst we're out in the glorious sun, I thought I'd show you guys some of the yeah. blooming plants that we have. Look how gorgeous this one is. And you can see it right from the kitchen window. You look out onto this gorgeous plant that's planted here. We absolutely love that one. And we've got loads of these tall, I don't know what they're called. Just ignore the neighbour's kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's the neighbour's kids, they're having fun. Got another one over there. And then we've got all the trees. Look at that blooming. I'm so happy. Every day I see more green leaves all over the trees and just everything just seems to be blooming and looking gorgeous. And I'm so excited for summer. I'm so okay, excited. Still I just love sitting up here. They're still going. Oh no, she's an, got it again. Andy Murray 100 volley challenge. Uh, so you have to do 100 Apparently. volley balls on the tennis racket. Maybe we should lock me in to give him a good One, for a second. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should take Mila inside. I think it's a dog. It's <laughs> Mila's coming in. Now they've locked me inside with you. They've all gone out to play in the sun. It's just me and you left in here, baby. I'm sorry, but you can't go out for the time being. It's gonna have to be me and you playing Andy Murray volleyball. Ready? Oh, we didn't even get one. You're no good, Meals. You're no good to me as a team member. Oh, now she's just gonna watch them play. <laughs> That's really sad. And James has just gone back out to sit on his armchair. The little cheeky devil. Okay, so I'm continuing to tile the in, the sort of leftover ones and I'm going to keep it every other tile. Mila is just standing by the door, crying. 
It's literally been 10 minutes already and she's non-stop cried by the door because she's absolutely gutted. And she thinks I'm going to let her out, but I'm not. She's absolutely gutted that she can't, but it's not going to happen, baby girl. Not while they're trying to break the tennis record, okay? As soon as they're finished playing tennis, you can go out, okay? I know you're going to wait there the whole time, but I'm sorry. I wish I could let you out, but you do spend every other freaking hour of the day in the garden, don't you? It breaks my heart. So we're getting ready. <laughs> Look at that sunburn, boo. He's very, very sensible. He's getting his sun cream on. Yeah, because I've been sitting in the garden yesterday. I think I've burned all of my burns. So I'm probably better. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to head out for our daily walk. Um, so James is being sensible. Should I sun cream? I think you should put a little bit on. Yeah, you've got really sensitive skin. I Just do. Put a little bit on. I have very sensitive skin. Got rashes everywhere at the moment, and including Especially a little. Especially if you're going to have that much skin on show. Yeah, true. Mm, oh, I will send cream out. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I finished off the tiles in the bathroom, but you will Ooh. have to wait um, oh. until the next utility oh. vlog. Oh yeah, you've true, seen actually. them, boo. This is, that's meant to be part of the utility vlog. Exactly. Guys. You're going to have to hold your horses, sorry guys. I've got so many more ideas for that, um, just to finish off that transformation as well. So I will update you all in that and the. All on that in the doesn't next it utility vlog. It does. It does, doesn't it? It makes. But now my daily walk is like a real, real. I luxury. know. And for the first time today, I'm going to go on my walk without taking any sort of top. No well, top. I'm going to wear a shirt. <laughs> any sort of. Like, sorry. Hoodie. I mean. <laughs> okay, he's going topless. This is new for James. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, you're not going to take a hoodie. I always take one because I just can't risk it. I get no, so cold. It is, it is hot, guys. Is it? It is hot. Yeah. Would that be stupid? I think it would be silly to have a hoodie with you. Okay, maybe I'll put a t-shirt on then, because I'm just... running topless, okay? They think it's that hot. I know, but I'm only wearing this little sports bra thing and these leggings. <laughs> the leggings will be fine, but I think the sports bra is maybe just a bit too skimpy, so I might get a little bit chilly on my shoulders, so I'll put a t-shirt on. Because obviously you guys just want this content, <laughs> just talking about exactly what I'm going to wear on a dog walk. Oh, wow. Ow. <laughs> Wow, it gets all trapped in the hair. It doesn't actually go through the hair, so I don't see why. <laughs> I will end up in a couple of months with just my hair's really blonde. <laughs> they go blonde. He's, so, he's got such hairy legs, guys. It's hilarious. His legs tan really well, though. Yeah. And then your feet are just white. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> okay, this is fabulous content. You're my best friend. Hey guys, so we've had a little detour upon our walk and um, we've picked up my parents' dog, Bailey. For any, I'm holding my treats, that's why they're looking at me like, what? For any of you guys that don't know, I think I mentioned it at I the beginning. It earlier in this vlog. Yeah, I think I did mention it earlier in this vlog. But both my parents are GPs and they're working full time at the moment. As you guys know, the NHS, the staff working for the NHS is just working absolutely crazy. Um, and they're working just non stop and they have no so time to walk their dog, all basically. The time, non stop. Crazy all the Very time, crazy. non stop. Um, basically, they don't have time to walk their little pooch, so we decided to pick her up from the garden on our way. They have like a back gate at the back of their house, which goes out into the woods, and we decided to go through there, pick her up, and we're going to be looking after her for, I don't know how long, just so the dog can get walks and my parents can work um, as many hours as they need to without feeling guilty about the dog. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to explain why we've picked up a random dog. <laughs> Did that explain it well? I think you smashed that. Okay guys, so it is now a couple of days later. Yes. Why we... did we forget to finish that vlog? I don't remember. I think oh, it was. We got home... Yeah, sorry, carry on. No, I was going to say, we got home so late, and when we literally were just handed food yeah. by Ellie and Christian, which is just like the dream. Yeah. Um, exactly. And then we just ate, and then we literally were so tired that we just it like, went straight to bed. I don't know what happened that day, but I just felt really tired. We were exhausted. Yeah. But um, we had such a good day, and mm -hmm. we hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, we've been putting um, off ending the video because of the clip we said at the yes. start about all the money going to the um, NHS COVID-19 charity. So thank you so much for supporting us on this video yes. it means a lot thank and you and we can't wait for the end of april to see how much we can donate yes so it's all through the whole of april as well so that's really cool thank you guys so much for supporting us and um, supporting the charity mm -hmm. if you watched this video you did your little bit if you're still here <laughs> please give the video a like if you enjoyed leave us a comment below and yes. we'll see you in the next video guys thank love you so much, much. bye, bye.